good morning on Tuesday. Every day I look at this sign and every day it puzzles me. So it says, welcome to Fontenay Hill Park, which is fine. It says, Bristol Park's in the heart of the Forest of Avon. For starters, I've lived in the county of Avon or city of Bristol or Somerset or whatever we're calling it this week because they keep changing our county boundaries and whatever. My whole life. This is the only time I've ever seen any reference to the Forest of Avon. And certainly, this particular Bristol Park is in the heart of a council estate in the inner city. Well, outer city, I suppose, but you know what I mean? It, it, this, is not, this is not the Forest of Avon. What fresh bullshit is this? <laughs> However, good morning. It is Tuesday. It is dog walk. I think the lens is dirty, but I'm afraid you've got to it. It is dog walk time. I'm already down to two dogs. There he is. I've got three dogs. I think we might go towards the plumbing. No, no, somebody's on the bloody plumbing. Who are these people who sit on my plumbing? Do they not know it's reserved for me? Um, we will not go to Warsaw, I think. We'll go up Topfield instead. It is Tuesday. I have got up about seven-ish. Half past six, seven-ish. I have done about 25 drafts this morning. I wasn't going to work today. I was going to work tomorrow instead. But since I was up early, I thought I might as well get on with it. So I've done about 25 drafts. And then Tammy's coming in a bit and we're going into town. Today is hopefully Happy New Bra Day. So, uh, so yeah, just take the dogs out for, oh, she spotted a squirrel. Sorry, it's up the tree. Oh, I live in horror that one day she might get one. <laughs> so yeah, um, we're going into town. I'm hopefully getting a new bra. Natalie wants to go to Primark. I don't, so I will occupy myself elsewhere while Tammy and Nat are in Primark. And yeah, that's, that's the plan for Tuesday. Well, we've been to town, we've done our shopping. It was a nice sunny day, so we thought we'd come for lunch. Say hello. Hi. No longer a nice sunny day. It's not quite cold enough for me to be up, but it's no longer a nice sunny day. It's a big black cloud coming over. Luckily, we've got a... Well, is that a pergola? Is it a pergola? Is it a pergola when it's got a roof? It's got a shelter anyway. We're under a shelter. And, um, yeah, having some food. We are home and I am just attempting this little project. So I mentioned on my waffle last week, I think it was, that I picked up some stuff free outside some people's houses. And one of the things was this little drawer unit. Really nice little drawer unit. But unfortunately, as you can see, there's a sticker on here. This one, I think, is going to come off with a wet wipe. But there was one on here that um, somebody had already started to pull it off and it had ripped out the paper underneath. So I pulled that off. And now I'm going to recover this drawer with this paper. So I've taken the knob off and I'm just about to try doing it with double sided tape because that's what I happen to have. This is thick scrapbooking paper so hopefully it'll be okay. I'm going to have a go at that. Left the big city for the simple country life Found myself a woman that it took for me to be my way. I was working on the ground come the sun up to sundown. Hey, I trying to make a reputation for a man inside this town. Hard as I try, maybe I just can't. I ain't no up and kind of leaving me. She kissed me one time and she took my heart. Baby, you can love me, you can leave me. I'm on your don't start. Yeah, I'm a honky tonk stuff. Well, I worked at three jobs, living out of a car. Mama never told me life would get this hard. Running around the world playing my guitar. Baby, you can love me, you can leave me. I'm a honky tonk star. Yeah, I'm a honky tonk star.
Carbon the first one went fine but there is a dark patch left from this ticket and it's taken off some of that anyway so I'm going to cover this one as well. Right, after com doing the first draw in the stars, I've now found some much nicer papers and have decided to do the two draws in those two. Although I'm still not sure about that one. Decisions, decisions. This one's got too much blue in it. I like that. I think that's nice. I'm glad I changed my mind about the stars and went for a different floral. I think it works really well. Not bad for a little side of the road freebie. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but not bad at all. I'm off to bed, but I thought this might entertain you. I put these on my feet. These are coconut water foot softening booties. I put them on my feet inside my slippers about four hours ago and forgot I'd got them on because I was sitting at my desk. So. If my feet are not as smooth as a baby's bottom when I take these off, I want a bloody wee serious. I'm very serious. I want my money back if it hadn't worked. Yesterday I did a charcoal one and it did absolutely nothing apart from make my feet look dirty. So let's have a look. I'm expecting baby's bottom feet. Well, in that they're so kind of moist, I suppose that's a bit baby's bottomy. It's not why I had in mind. Sorry for those of you who hate feet, by the way. Oh, and I'll tell you what it has done. It's pulled off my nail varnish. There's interesting. If you leave if you leave a coconut foot pack on long enough, it'll take your nail varnish off for you. Well, they feel moistened, and like I said, it's taken my nail varnish off. But apart from that, I don't think it's done a lot. Certainly hasn't got rid of all that hard skin I've got on my heels. I need to go and get a pedicure at some point, I suppose. But a pedicure. The reason I don't have a pedicure in England is because in Turkey a pedicure is about eight quid and in England it's about 50 quid and I just um just can't justify that. However, pop into Turkey for a pedicure, also not happening. So anyway, I'm off to bed. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning on Wednesday from me and Molly and Bud. Um, it's half past eight. I've been awake two hours. I was going to get up early. And I love you too. I do. I was going to get up early and start work. And instead I've sat here looking at my phone for two hours. And, and um, yeah, I'm not started work. So we're going to get up in a minute, aren't we? Are we going to get up in a minute? What do you think? Yeah, we're going to get up. We're going to, we're going to get up in a minute. Well, it's just got 11. 11.03 to be very precise. And I've just... I've not just finished. I've finished... Um, Finished listing for the day and photographing and scheduling, that's done. Putting that's hair dye on for her. I'm just about to do my parcels, so sorry, earrings are wonky and it always annoys me when I glance in the camera. So <laughs> I thought I'd show you what's going on. First up then I have got um this Lold Doll, the enormous crocodile hand puppet. That must have come from a car boot, so I don't remember buying it, but I know I've had it for a while. And that has gone for $14.99 plus postage. I've got this George Black semi sheer top with flower print that has gone for seven pounds plus postage. That will have been a sack item. Would have cost me fifty p. These Eyelure individual lashes came in filler bags, so they will have cost me maybe like you know twenty p, fifty p at the most. Filler bag stuff works like very very cheap. They've gone for three pounds sixty. This Royal Dolphin Christmas plate came from the charity shops. I bought it before Christmas, before the second, third lockdown, whichever lockdown it was. 
and it went under the seat of the car in its bag and I didn't even realise it was there until I cleared the car out the other week so it should have been listed before Christmas it only went on the other week and that has gone to a viewer so thank you Louise for £4.49 plus postage the Peruna black and grey swirl print dress where's that that will have been from the sacks and that has gone for £6.50 plus postage it will have cost me 50p the Joseph top Another 50p item from the sack has gone for £10 plus postage. Uh, the Women's Clark's Narrative Footbed Sandals. They're the ones I bought last week. When the charity shops first opened, I bought those. So maybe, maybe it was the week before. Anyway, the very first Monday that the shops reopened, I paid £5 for them. And they've gone for £17 plus postage. This handmade crochet cardigan, I've had this in stock for about three years. I bought it at the car boot sale. It cost me maybe a pound, but it had a hole in the shoulder. And so it's been in my must sort that out pile. The hole in the shoulder took me seconds to mend, literally seconds. And it's been listed only a couple of days and it's sold for 25 quid. So really should have got on and done that sooner. And there's a Karen Millen top that was out of the sacks and that's gone for £10 plus postage. And then finally, last but not least... This cutlery set was Mum's and she asked me to sell it and that has gone for £75. It's literally brand new unused cutlery that my parents bought it back in the days when you ought to have a cutlery set for best and just never used it. So that's been uh, gathering dust ever since and it's sold for 75 quid plus post. That's it. That's all she wrote. I'm going to do my parcels now. Oh do. It rained when I took the dogs out and now I'm a ball of frizz. Um... I've achieved everything I needed to achieve today, but nothing of any interest to film. So I did my listings this morning, as I told you, and I did my parcels, and then I sat and edited a video, um, which is going to go up Saturday. And I took Natalie up to the mall because she needed to go and buy new underwear. Um, and we went in Waterstones. It was nice to go in a real bookshop again after all this time. There's nothing quite like a bookshop, is there? You know, spying, buying books online is lovely, but there's nothing quite like a bookshop. And I still had some book tokens left over for my last birthday. So I got two new books and Natalie got four new books. Not, not she, paid, she put some money towards hers, yeah. But yeah, I used up my book tokens. And then I went in Marks and Spencer's and got pizza for my tea, which was nice. They do a really nice low-fat pizza. Um... And then I, took, then I took the dogs out and got caught in the rain. I didn't take my phone with me because I knew that with the fact that it was raining and I got three dogs and I've hurt my wrist. I don't, don't know what I've done and you can't see anything. It doesn't even look swollen particularly, but it hurts all down the, I can't show, all down, all down this bone here. <laughs> I'm holding the phone in the other hand and I don't know what I've done. I don't know if I twisted it doing something this morning without realising, but, um, but yeah, it hurts. So... Yeah, that's pretty, pretty. I was, I was. Yeah, that's what I was saying. So that's why I didn't take my phone because I knew that I'd have enough to cope with holding three dogs with a, a pain, a pain in my wrist. So we trudged around the field in the rain, and then I've just sat and watched Sunday's Call the Midwife and had my tea. And in a minute, I'm going to ring me mother. And none of this, you see, is actually worth recording. It's not even worth saying, really. Ring me mother, and then go to bed. And then tomorrow, go and see me mother. She's got doctor's appointment, and. Um, Judging by the weather today, I don't think we'll be going to Joe's and sitting out in the garden for our lunch. So I will see you tomorrow and we'll see what the weather's doing then. Good morning on Thursday. It's 7am. My hair really did frizz when I got out of the rain yesterday. <laughs> it's 7 o'clock. Um, I've woken up with a bit of a headache, so I'm going to take some paracetamol and have a drink and hopefully chase it away. I'm going to sit and list this one bag of stuff because I'm up early and I haven't got anything else that I need to do. So I'm going to list that bag of stuff. Hopefully that'll chase my headache away. Maybe get the photographs done and uh, and then go see mum in a bit. Okay, I've done the first bag. I've decided I'm going to do a second bag. My headache is a bit better. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do a second bag and then I'm going to do photographs and then that'll be it for today, I think. Not not for vlogging, just for listing. Okay, it's quarter to nine. Hang on while I shut the telly up. It's quarter to nine. It's now all... Uh, drafted and photographed. I did a total of 21. Only one is not going to be able to go up because I just realised it's a button short on the trousers. I really have got to deal with my hair. So I'm going to, um, I've lost my thread. I'm going to upload these photos and schedule these listings. Then I'm going to go and get dressed and have some breakfast. This one took mum a while because she's not very fond of boats and uh, there's three more. 
which she's determined to do even though I've said she needn't bother. No danger of her being any bother for a while while she works these out, I think. I was just telling the waffle there's no danger of you being any trouble for a while because you've got three more boaty jigsaws to work through. She's there somewhere, honestly. She just went past the door. There she is. Hello. <laughs> I say you'll be, out, you'll be out of commission for a while working through these boat monsters. Yeah, but it's, it's been quite enjoyable because it wasn't quite so quick. Hmm. You right, Molly? <laughs> right, I am home from Mum's. I'm in my pyjamas already, because, you know, I've grown out again, so pyjama time. And I am going to bag and tag this lot from this morning and put it all away. And I don't know what then. Depends what time it is. Maybe do a few more listings, maybe not. We are bagged and tagged. We just need putting away now. <laughs> On Friday, I am up. It's about Alexa. What time is it? Seven fifty-one a.m. Good old Alexa. It's seven fifty-one a.m. It's Friday. I'm up. I'm about to take the dogs out, but I thought I'd do something I never do, which is an outfit of the day. And the reason I'm doing it is because I've got all new clothes on, apart from my knickers, and I'm not showing you them anyway. We went to Yours Clothing on Tuesday for a new bra, but I also had some gift cards that I'd been hoarding for a while. On the kind of when I've lost some weight I'll get some new clothes so I did I've got new jeans and a new shirt as well as the new bra so let me show, I show, show, I show you the bra hang on within reason look new bra and then if we look in the mirror hang on effects of new bra don't know if you guys can actually see shall I move closer effects of new bra boobies up instead of boobies down and then rest of outfit new shirt very pleased with this and new jeans and I've also got new shoes on, except they're only new to my feet because they've been in the box in the room for at least eight months. So I bought Skechers and I bought them a size too small and now I've lost enough weight for them to go on. So, yeah, basically I'm new head to toe apart from my knickers. Same old pants. And um, I'm going to take the dogs out and then I'm off to see Caroline. nice peaceful one this morning because Buddy did not shout. I prefer him not to shout to be honest at 10 to 8 in a, in a suburban area. <laughs> oh, it looks like a nice day. We had one day of rain, I don't know what the rest of the country's been like, but we've had two weeks of glorious sunshine which have been practically summer. And then Wednesday I think it was, it belted down, it might have been Tuesday. We had one day of real Blech, all day and then one day of just sort of greyness and then yesterday started grey but brightened up but it was still chilly and today looks like it's going to be lovely so uh, yeah there's the little man something caught his attention then did you see him he was dashing along and then he went sniff <laughs> he's quite happy this morning he's woken up in a good mood like he's always in a good mood Kiki is a good mood, he just is. And Molly seems quite cheerful today, so yeah, it's a nice morning. I've changed out of my new shoes into my old shoes, which look exactly the same but older. <laughs> because um, I'm going to walk around the top field and I don't want to do that in new shoes. But yeah, very pleased. Turn around. Very pleased with the new shirt. It's similar to a shirt that I owned previously and have got to it's got too big for me. I've got too small for it. I've shrunk out of it. What, what, you know what I mean? I've lost weight. So very pleased with new shirt. And also, there's a lot to be said for saving your gift cards. I had gift card for yours clothing. I had three in total. So I had one from last birthday 
from one of you guys and then I had one for Christmas from somebody from like a family member and I can't remember who because I had various vouchers and I forgot who gave me what and then Lex very kindly sent me a voucher saying buy yourself some new boobs when well, my boobs were all saggy and I had a, a, a faff about because I bought a bra online from yours that didn't fit and when I returned it they didn't refund me I may have already mentioned this I'm sorry if I have anyway they finally sorted back and sent me that gift card back so I was able to go shopping on Tuesday in yours clothing and buy I bought two bras and a shirt and jeans and paid about four quid in total by the time I'd used my gift cards and then Tammy bought me a bra as well so basically all my friends own my boobs which is great <laughs> but yeah so nothing quite like free shopping I always, if somebody says to me, oh, what would you like for your birthday or Christmas? I almost always say gift vouchers because free shopping feels so good. <laughs> Definitely is a nice day. I can already feel a little bit of warmth from the sun and it's only 8 a.m. So that's very promising. Hello, here, we're in the car. Oh, there's a UPS van coming up the road. I wonder if it's coming to me. Uh, shall I wait? No, he stopped all the way down there, so that's a no. Okay, um, we're in the car. I am going to see Caroline today. Oh car nearly didn't start and nearly wasn't going anywhere oh. <laughs> like that moment when you turn the key and nothing happens go and see Caroline today and we've decided to go to Paynton so that is a bit of a trek from me but it is also a lovely day out Bridgewater we've been to Bridgewater many times and having done Bridgewater last week we thought where else can we go and we've tried Taunton in the past but the parking is expensive and not that great in Taunton. The charity of cha 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 charity shops also expensive and not that great. So we thought we'll have a proper day out and um, go see Simon. So it's not that far for Caroline to trek, and it's a nice, nice day out for me. So, um, so yeah, that's where I'm going. But I've got to go and get fuel first because otherwise I'm not even going to get as far as the, uh, as far as the motorway. <laughs> There she is! Hi! Hello! Hi, Hello! It's going to piss down. We're in talk. Where are we? Painton. Painton. We're in Painton, but it's going to rain on us. It is. It's very black and cloudy. Yeah. We're going to go and find some charity shops and get some treasure. Awesome shit. Bit of one, both. one man's. One man's. Treasure is another, man. another man's treasure. Something like that. <laughs> I had to leave Caroline in one of the shops while I rushed off to the loo. And, uh,. Now I'm following my sat nav to walk back to her because I had to go quite a way. <laughs> Found myself in a really pretty park. I don't know where the hell I am, but isn't it lovely? <laughs> nice children's play area. I trust the sat nav. At some point I'll reappear somewhere, but there's a nice, nice little stream and yeah, smashing. I'm in Victoria Park apparently. If you live in Paynton, you'll know where I am. Yeah, I had to rush off and find a public loo and the nearest one was, was mileage away. So, uh, yeah, on my way back to find Caroline now. Right, I'm off home. It hasn't stopped raining, um, but so be it. I'm going to go home and I'm probably going to bed. <laughs> Bye. Bye! Wave goodbye to Caroline Bye. vlog. Bye. I will. Thank you for a lovely day out in the rain. <laughs> Bye! had fun regardless of the weather we've had fun together enjoyed doing the live stream um 
I did, we did a live stream on Caroline's channel, by the way, in case you haven't seen that. We've just done a live stream on Caroline's channel, and um, now it's time to go home. And I can't film the journey for you because any second I'm going to have to take you off the um, tripody thing so that I can use the sat nav. <laughs> but I am very tired and I've got a long drive, so I shouldn't imagine I'll do much more today. I've got to do the dog walk when I get home. Now, oh well. No, I haven't. I did it this morning. Oh, yay. Okay, I haven't got to do the dog walk when I go home further. Okay. I'll uh, see you in a bit. Good. More, no, good afternoon. Good afternoon on Saturday. It is uh, just after 12 and um, I have been up for a while. I've had a lie in this morning. Just about to go out and do some charity shops. So I thought I'd take you with me and we'd have a poke around the charity shops. Um, I feel like I feel like I got a bit cut short with Caroline yesterday with us being rained off. So I feel like I haven't got quite got my charity shop fixed. So uh, we'll go and have a, have a look and see if I can get any bargs. Yeah. To just stay cool. Saying we're just friends, but thinking you're my man. And baby, if you knew, hey, I say I'm doing all right, I'm doing just fine, but I'm getting better. And I cry when you're not around because it matters, matters. Dreaming of your kisses in the nighttime, knowing what I'm missing, but I feel like, hey, I say I'm doing. It's um, just after half past three and I'm home again. A strange thing happened with my phone while I was there. I dropped it and it switched off and then it would not switch back on again. And I was like, oh, I broke my phone. So I walked around the next few shops, cursing the universe and, and going, oh, I broke my phone. And then I've just got home and thought, maybe I'll plug it in and maybe... You know, and, and as soon as I put it on the charge thing, it turned itself back on and it's fine. Or at least it seems fine. We shall see. Anyway, I have done some charity shopping. I'm going to do a whole video of everything I've bought in charity shops this week. I might film it in a minute. Might do that next. Caroline Mrs M, who is an extraordinarily generous woman, 
recently got herself a new vlogging camera. And guess what she did with her old one? So I've got a vlogging camera and she showed me how to work it as well, which was good. So actually what I could do is record the charity shop stuff on the vlogging camera and then pick this because I, 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 I might I don't know <laughs> lost myself halfway through that but yay so yeah I'm, I'm uh, got some good stuff very tired long 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 drive in two directions yesterday and then um up and out today I'm knackered but early night tonight you, you never saw that coming did you the words early night tonight that's a surprise to you good morning on Sunday it's half past seven. Apparently. Apparently, Anthony's here off camera. Half past seven, we're off to the boot sale. Don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect. They've been told they can't use the barns, which is a matter of extreme rage to me because if I can go into Tesco's or whatever, why can't I go into a barn that's open at both ends? Anyway, they've been told they can't use the barns. They've got to be outdoors only. I don't know how that will have affected the number of sellers who are willing to even go. I suppose it would depend on whether they even bother with the Facebook page. If they don't read the Facebook page, they won't know about the indoor only bit outdoor only bit anyway we're going we'll see what it's like and uh, i'll show you the journey because i know you like that kind of thing spend my coin for sure i'm gonna be myself or i could be someone else no one's stopping me now i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i just wanna feel alive it's just what i do when i'm out so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Well, we're back. It was much better than I expected. There were quite a nice lot of traders there and I've uh, filled the trolley and got a filler bag as well. So um, I'm about to do my live stream with Lex in in not very many minutes. Hang on. In about 20 minutes. So, um, so if you've seen that, then you've seen what I bought. Well, I've just finished my live stream. I've made hell of a mess in my office. <laughs> I need to tidy this lot up. <laughs> Um, so that I can go and get mother and I've got to stop at the shops because we are out of dog food so um, yes, it's, it's a rock and roll lifestyle as always I'm going to tidy up in here and then pop off and pick mum up just stopped at the shop to get some dog food and this little one here is a uh, I don't know if you can see into this car because the sunshine there's a little dog in there anyway he was right up at the window having a look at me <laughs> waiting for his mum to come back hello can you see him there he is look Hello, handsome chap. Okay, mum's gone off to church. I've got a couple of hours before she gets brought back here for me to take her for the last leg of her journey home. So, I think what I need to do is some kind of little kitchen miracle. Yes, definitely.
we go, 15 minutes later. And it's looking much better. All that's left is this. These are cakes that Natalie made and leftover kebab and pizza from her and Ryan last night. And I have no idea what she wants me to do with it. So I'm going to leave it there for her to deal with when she comes home. But apart from that, my new miracle has been performed. Hooray! Okay, I've still got a little while before um, before Mum comes back here to be taken home. So I'm going to do my parcels and drop them at the parcel shop when I take her. And that's one less thing to go out for tomorrow. So um, these are parcels from... I didn't do any parcels... I took parcels Friday, I didn't do any yesterday, I haven't done any today. Oh, it's only two days. Well, Friday afternoon onwards, because I took parcels Friday morning before I went down to Caroline. So yeah, Friday Friday morning onwards. I am sending out... Uh, let's start here. No, let's not start there. Let's start here. A Roman leopard print draped dress. This is out of my bulk by sack, so it will have cost me no more than 50p. That has gone for £12 plus postage. This Bershka... Stonewash denim bomber jacket has gone for £8 plus postage. Um, again, sack item, 50p at the most. Been in stock for a little while. Been in stock for over a year, I think. Um, yeah, so £8 plus postage on that one. And then Norma, thank you very much. Norma has bought two items. Norma is a viewer and she has bought this uh, turquoise bead bracelet and necklace set. And this George lace trim t-shirt top. So thank you, Norma. That's a total of about, about 13 quid plus postage. Thank you, Norma. I will refund the second lot of postage on that for you, Norma. In fact, you'll, you'll have had that before you see this. I'm holding the camera too close. Sorry, guys. Um, next up is this white stuff pink and purple dress that has gone for a massive £8.50 plus postage. I don't leap on white stuff the way I used to. That was a sack item. Cost me less than 50p, blah, blah, blah. The same for this Roman top. This came out of the sacks, I believe. This is brand new with tags. I think it came out of the sacks. It may have come from one of the boxes of stuff that I had from Catherine O'Connell. Catherine, if you sent me this, thank you. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure now. I'm doubting myself. It has sold for £13 plus postage. This Frank Usher sequined vest top has sold for fifteen twenty nine plus postage. That must have had a 10% off a cent on it. This Johnson Brothers Weeping Willow vegetable dish has gone for... <coughs> Twelve ninety nine plus postage. I had two of those. I bought them in Burnham on Sea when I was with Caroline a very long time, long before lockdowns and anything like that were even thought of. They've been in stock a long time, a long time. Their photograph was taken in the office. I've been back here eighteen months. Blah blah blah, all of that stuff. So yeah, had them a while. And then I've got a little job lot of thimbles here. There they are. They're a little job lot of thimbles. There's sixteen thimbles in there. They came on a display rack. I only really wanted the rack. The rack to sell well, but they have gone for six twenty-five plus post. Um, for all I know, there could be one in there that's worth a fortune. But hey ho, can't be bothered to research symbols. I'm afraid doesn't um, float my boat. And then these Columbia Tech Light walking shoes. They came from the sacks, I believe, or they may have come from the car boot. So I think they were a sack item. And they have gone for nineteen ninety nine plus postage. And then I've got two items that are going out to viewers who haven't bought the money, but they just bought them direct. And that is this pink super dry coat is going for fifteen pounds. And this lovely necklace sold this morning to Jilly, in the, who was in the side chat of the live this morning, and she has sent me ten pounds, including the postage for that one. So thank you very much, Jilly. And I'm going to do my parcels now and um, and stop talking. <laughs> Time and you'll be back another day. I can see us breaking down the barrier. Oh, yeah. With the speed of light, we cross the stratosphere. Oh, yeah. We can go so far. Far away. 
go all done um just waiting for mum to walk back up and then i'm going to take these to the parcel shop take her home and come back and go to bed tomorrow is video editing day and uh, it's also bank holiday there will be a car boot i don't know whether i'm going to go or not i might go i might not i shouldn't go i might <laughs> i've just had a late night ebay pickup <laughs> somebody picking something up for me a lady contacted me and said that she lost her child's comforter or rather, sorry, hang on. Or rather, her child had lost their comforter. And could she come and pick one up for me as a matter of urgency? So, so a uh, scene of devastation while I look, while I looked for the appropriate comforter. And I need to put all these back away again. And then I'm going to bed. So, that's it for this week's waffle. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. And I will see you next week with another waffle. Take care. Bye for now.